Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about PMT and finance. If you are interested in learning about how to calculate regular payments for a loan or investment, this video is for you. What is PMT and finance? PMT and finance stands for payment, and it is a financial formula used to calculate the regular payments that are required to be made for a loan or an investment. It is used to determine the equal periodic payments that are required to pay off a loan or to achieve a particular investment goal. The PMT formula is important because it helps individuals and businesses to determine the regular payment required to repay a loan or achieve an investment goal. It provides a clear understanding of the amount of money that needs to be paid regularly, which can help with budgeting and financial planning. The PMT formula requires three inputs, the interest rate, the number of periods, and the present value of the loan or investment. The interest rate is the rate at which the loan or investment grows or earns interest. It is expressed as a percentage per period, typically per year. The present value is the current value of the loan or investment, representing the amount of money borrowed or invested at the beginning of the period. The number of periods is the total number of payments required to repay the loan or achieve the investment goal. By inputting these values into the formula, individuals and businesses can determine the regular payments required to repay a loan or achieve an investment goal. This can help with financial planning, budgeting, and determining the feasibility of taking out a loan or investing in a particular opportunity. Why is PMT important? PMT is important because it provides a clear understanding of the regular payment required to repay a loan or achieve an investment goal. This information is essential for financial planning and budgeting. By knowing the regular payment amount, individuals and businesses can create a realistic financial plan and ensure that they can meet their financial obligations. For example, if you are planning to take out a loan to purchase a car, knowing the regular payment amount helps you to determine whether you can afford the loan or not. If the regular payment amount is too high, it may not fit into your budget and you may need to consider a different loan amount or a longer loan term. Similarly, if you are planning to invest in a savings account or a bond, knowing the regular payment amount helps you to determine the amount of money you need to set aside regularly to achieve your investment goal. By understanding the regular payment amount, you can plan your savings and investment strategy accordingly. In addition, PMT can also help individuals and businesses to compare different loan or investment options. By calculating the regular payment amount for different loan or investment options, you can compare them and choose the one that fits your financial goals and budget. How to use the PMT formula The PMT formula is used to calculate the regular payments required to pay off a loan or to achieve a particular investment goal. The formula requires three inputs, the interest rate, the number of periods, and the present value of the loan or investment. The interest rate is the rate at which the loan or investment grows or earns interest. It is expressed as a percentage per period, typically per year. For example, if the annual interest rate is 5%, then the interest rate per period would be 5% divided by 12 equals 0.4167% if the loan or investment is being calculated on a monthly basis. The present value is the current value of the loan or investment. It represents the amount of money borrowed or invested at the beginning of the period. For example, if you are taking out a loan of $10,000 then the present value of the loan would be $10,000. The number of periods is the total number of payments required to repay the loan or achieve the investment goal. For example, if you are taking out a loan for 3 years, then the number of periods would be 36 if the loan or investment is being calculated on a monthly basis. Once you have these inputs, you can use the PMT formula to calculate the regular payments required to pay off the loan or achieve the investment goal. The formula is as follows, PMT equals divided by, where, PMT equals payment amount, R equals interest rate per period, PV equals present value, N equals number of periods. Let's use an example to demonstrate how to use the PMT formula. Let's say you want to take out a loan of $10,000 for three years at an annual interest rate of 5%. You want to calculate the monthly payments required to repay the loan. First, we need to calculate the interest rate per period by dividing the annual interest rate by the number of periods per year. In this case, since we are calculating on a monthly basis, the interest rate per period would be 5% divided by 12 equals 0.4167%. Next, we need to calculate the number of periods. Since we are taking out a loan for 3 years and calculating on a monthly basis, the total number of periods would be 3 times 12 equals 36. Finally, we can plug in the values for the interest rate per period, present value, and number of periods into the PMT formula and solve for the payment amount. PMT equals divided by PMT equals $295.24. Therefore, the regular payments required to repay the loan over three years at a monthly interest rate of 0.4167% would be $295.24.
In conclusion, PMT is an important financial formula used to calculate the regular payments required to repay a loan or achieve an investment goal. It takes into account the interest rate, present value, and number of periods to determine the payment amount required. By understanding how to use the PMT formula, individuals and businesses can effectively plan their budget and manage their finances. It is an essential tool for financial planning, and we hope that this video has provided a clear explanation of what PMT is and how to use it. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this video informative.